आई एम डॉक्टर सुरजित घोष वेलकम टू माई चैनल डॉक्टर घोष प्रेजेंट टॉप टेन होम्योपैथिक रेमेडीज फॉर आई प्रॉब्लम्स बिफोर गोइंग इन टू द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द रेमेडीज लेट एस फर्स्ट नो द वेरियस टर्म्स बिकॉज दिस टर्म विल बी यूज वाइल डिस्क्राइबिंग द मेडिसिन वॉट इज द एनाटोमी ऑफ आई See this. Organ of vision eye has two main parts: eyeball and adjacent parts. Eyeball has got three parts: cover layer or covering layer, refracting media, and eye chambers. Covering layers are three in number: fibrous external layer. Note this: fibrous external layer. This white, this starting from here, this white outer layer. This is going along with this. This is called fibrous external layer. Actually, this fibrous external layer, the, the back portion, this is the front portion. Front portion is absent. There is absent. This part is not there. The backward portion actually is truly called sclera. It is called sclera. This is the white of the eye. White of the eye. Sclera. Uh, Stem layer named vascular middle layer. This is the vascular. It starts from here. Vascular middle layer. This brown. This brown portion. This brown portion is vascular. mid layer in front side it is converted into iris this is iris this iris this iris this iris the central part is a hole this is called pupil number 3 nervous or internal nervous in, in most internal layer retina this is the retina inner inner layer inner layer of the eyeball inner layer this is retina now refracting media are four cornea to start with this is cornea this is transparent this is transparent cornea enters through this i mean light enters through cornea cornea after cornea comes aqueous humor here in this chamber is called the lens has divided the whole eyeball into two chamber anterior chamber posterior chamber or anterior chamber or aqueous humor chamber this is a fluid that is called aqueous humor here this lens this is posterior chamber here lies the vitreous humor this is called vitreous humor aqueous humor these two terms are there eye chamber as eyes chambers are two aqueous chamber vitreous humor this is aqueous chamber this is vitreous chamber this contains aqueous humor this contains vitreous humor and this is the lens and this portion is called iris this is pupil this portion is pupil this where in the light enters and the surrounding circular part this is surrounding circular part this is called iris now other things uh, there are few more terms blind spot yellow spot you must know this optic nerve because these are part and parcel of this description yellow spot is a spot where most prominent image is formed blind spot no image is formed it is the union or junction point of this optic nerve and retina no no image is formed there is blind spot yellow spot has got another name macula eye chambers already have told this eye chambers are two chambers aqueous chamber vitreous chamber the lens has divided the whole eyeball into two parts anterior chamber or aqueous chamber posterior chamber or vitreous chamber in aqueous chamber there is aqueous humor in vitreous chamber there is vitreous humor the humors are fluid aqueous chamber is thin aqueous humor is thin vitreous humor is thick like glue adjacent parts of the eye eyelids you know eyelids this is eyelids eyelids conjunctiva conjunctiva actually this this portion this is transparent it's not visible generally it's transparent the white portion which are, you see that is actually part of the sclera conjunctiva eye muscles it's not visible here tear glands this is tear gland there are two tear glands on two eyes and eyebrows now what is the path of the light let us see what is the cornea first light paint its cornea then it comes aqueous humor this the fluid aqueous humor in the aqueous chamber after crossing this aqueous chamber falls on the lens so after aqueous humor not that after aqueous humor it penetrates to the iris 
it is then lens then lens then vitreous humor vitreous humor that is vitreous chamber the place is named vitreous chamber the fluid is called vitreous humor it penetrates to vitreous chamber and finally it falls on retina where image is formed this is the physiology of eye actually What is the incidence of diseases of eye in Indian subcontinent? From survey, it is known that about 50% persons of Indian subcontinent suffer from some types of eye disease at any point of time. Common eye diseases, conjunctivitis. This is conjunctivitis. You know this red portion? Conjunctivitis. Actually, conjunctiva is a transparent outermost layer above the sclera. The white portion is sclera. Above that white portion of sclera, it is transparent some tissue is there that is conjunctiva and inflammation of that conjunctiva is called conjunctivitis you cannot see it uh, unless it is red when it is red you can see this is conjunctiva otherwise it is transparent cataract you know the cataract when the lens is uh, completely fibrosed this is called cataract glaucoma when the pressure in the posterior chamber increases due to some disease and it put extra pressure on this optic nerve then glaucoma is result glaucoma is the most commonest cause of blindness then macular degeneration this is the macula actually macula and blind and uh, is part i mean the is called i have already told it macula is the uh, yellow spot these are both same thing this macula also um, causes complete blindness and finally entropion entropion we'll be discussing later on this is uh, the uh, hairy portions of this lower eyelids it is just uh, turned inside this interview everything will be discussed later on what is conjunctivitis what is silent symptom of conjunctivitis inflammation of infection of the outer membrane of the eyeball outer membrane of the eyeball and inner eyelid is called conjunctivitis this is outer layer this clara portion on this clara portion this you are seeing these red things actually this is blood circulation i mean channels were through which blood comes here this white portion is called sclera and when it is inflamed it is called conjunctivitis infection uh, mind this conjunctivitis is highly contagious this is highly contagious. Please remember this thing. Infection may cause from microbes, shampoos, eye drops, allergens. Again, the same may be acute or chronic. Sign symptoms, redness of the white of the eye, burning, itching, tearing of eyes, sensation as if sand in the eyes, discharges and crusting around eyes. These are symptoms. What is cataract? What are the symptoms of cataract? When the crystalline transparent lens of the eye become opaque or cloudy, it is called cataract. Please note this figure. This is the lens. The portion of the lens, actually lens is partly seen here through iris. Uh, lens is generally uh, larger than iris. It is completely, ordinarily it is dark. Dark means it is transparent. Now it is fully cloudy. Sign symptoms, beside weakness of eyesight generally, there is no other disturbing symptoms. What is the treatment of cataract? In modern medicine, surgery is the best and permanent treatment. But in homeopathy and tissue therapy, there are remedies to keep cataract under control. Even the same may be dissolved. Dissolved means cured. Provided chronic inflammation in the body must be fully arrested and the disease must be in primary stage. Only in that case, it can be dissolved. That is cured by medicine from, of homeopathy or tissue salt therapy. I have seen it personally. I have seen it personally. What is glaucoma? What is silent symptoms of glaucoma? Due to increase in the pressure of vitreous humor in posterior chamber of the eye, this is the posterior chamber of the eye. Pressure is increased. Optic nerve is damaged. This pressure gives pressure on this optic nerve. It is damaged. Eyesight starts weakening. Ultimately, comes blindness. This disease is called glaucoma. A lot of persons go blind in Indian subcontinent every year due to glaucoma. Maybe lakhs of person go to blindness. Actually, sign symptoms: pain in eyes, intense headache, gradual dwindling of eyesight, nausea, vomiting, red eyes, halo around light. This is the halo around light. 
what is the common treatment of glaucoma in homeopathy digital therapy there are definite remedies for treatment definite remedies for treatment we have definite medicine for treatment what is macular degeneration what are the signs and symptoms in the middle of the retina where the straight light fallen on eye is processed is called macula actually macula is also known as yellow spot this is the place where most distinct image is formed due to some reason the light sensitive cells of macula is degenerated it is called macular degeneration mind this it also causes blindness there is no reason it is of this disease it is assumed that old age genetic error high blood pressure excess of cholesterol smoking may be reasons symptom illusion of vision loss of central vision need brighter light for reading writing difficulty in recognizing faces dark area in the field of vision and finally loss of total vision that is our nutrients that is final what are the treatments of macular degeneration in homeopathy digital therapy there are definitive remedies for this element i do not know whether there are um, uh, treatments in other pathies for particular macular degeneration what is entropy and what are the symptoms in this this is the eyelids and hairs curl inward commonly seen in the lower side note this lower lid is bent i mean curved inward and the uh, hairs are also curved inward this is called entropy and, and it causes weakness of muscles of the eyelids is the reason of this malady signs symptoms redness tearing from eye infection of cornea loss of eyesight what is the treatment of entropy and in homeopathy and digital therapy there are remedies on the totality of symptom you get here medicines for this entropy no matter what preventive measures one should take to safeguard vision number 1 use sunglass when outdoor number 2 avoid all sorts of addictions number 3 while in field of work or game wear proper eye protective gear this is available number 4 according to family history get your eyes examined time to time number 5 don't forget to get routine test of eyes done number 6 get adequate green and fresh veggies and fruits number 7 treat disease immediately as soon as it is detected number 8 while performing professional work follow 20 20 20 rule specifically in white color job it prevents the eye strain 20 20 20 rule means uh, after working 20 in front of anything say in table work you can uh, consult with computer you can write or anything where the short short vision is required if you work there in 20 minutes after 20 minutes you have to get rest for 20 seconds and you have to look at a distance 20 foot or more for 20 seconds this is 20 20 20 rule after every 20 minutes you have to look at distance object 20 feet or more for 20 seconds then you can again concentrate on your job in that case your eye strain will not be there and asthenopia there is disease asthenopia will not attract you follow doctor's advice strictly if you use contact lens some relevant pictures are given here please uh, note it macros in eye problems drooping of upper eyelids photophobia people's contracted altered vision and sparkling of colorful light before eyes spasms of eyelid getting squint eyed squint means uh, squint and strabismus means there is some similarity i will discuss later on squint eyed repeatedly weak vision due to optic nerves disability strabismus strabismus you know this uh, this is strabismus strabismus means when the two eyes are not properly lined up that is one is uh, one eye is in a different direction compared to the other squint of also the same thing strabismus dual vision dual vision to see particular object twice either side to side or one above the below dual vision neuralgia of eyes better from hot application over sensitivity to retina black lines in front of your eyes of flashes of lights and retinitis pigmentosa this is retinitis pigmentosa this is a very serious type of disease the retina gets damaged completely and may patient may suffer from ultimately complete blindness mercurius for eye troubles excessive cutting pain intense photophobia the picture one 
intense photophobia they cannot tolerate uh, artificial light and exacerbation of troubles at night in bed damp cold rainy weather during perspiration exacerbation means aggravation of symptoms profuse burning acrid discharge floating black spot in the vision field keratitis of syphilitic nature keratitis which only are inflammation of syphilitic nature hypopian this is hypopian hypopian means accumulation of fuzz or inflammatory fluid in the anterior chamber of the eye subject perspire profusely without relief sweat oily odorous tremble from least exertion these are general symptom for mercurius asthmatic for eye troubles double vision double vision four four finger looking as at eight fingers sharp sticking pain corneal ulcer photophobia gonadal ophthalmia constant lacrimation syphilitic iditis hypopian hypopian already uh, was there here also hypopian is there subject chilly angry catch cold easily disposed to diarrhea depressed and anxious in evening crave salt fat dislike consolation there are general symptoms acuminate neck for eye problems in simple inflammation of any singular structure of eye singular structure means say uh, eyelids or conjunctiva or cornea singular structure or in pan ophthalmic pan ophthalmia pan ophthalmia means total eye all structure inflamed in ophthalmia neonatrum also this is ophthalmia neonatrum newborn baby's ophthalmia this remedy shows spectacular success mainly used in the acute cases eyes red inflamed dry hot as if sand in them profuse watering after exposure to dry cold wind attack sudden violent subjects anxious restless both physically and mentally toss about cannot tolerate pains sulfur eye problems sulfur for eye problems burning ulceration in margins of eye lid first stage of ulcer cornea first stage of ulcer of cornea hello around eye hello around eye black motes before eyes keratitis inflammation of cornea actual keratitis chronic and ophthalmia with burning itching subjects irritable depressed selfish cannot keep dresses on at night like sweets and fats happy dreams wakes on wakes up singing when well selected remedy fails try this if patient is hot mind this sulfur sulfur is a very peculiar medicine there are two medicine actually one is sulfur and another is sorinum when well selected remedy fail you can give this sulfur for hot patient sorinum for chilly patient belladonna for eye problems throbbing pain throbbing deep pain in eyes on lying down people's dilated photophobia and shooting in the eyes Ex exophthalmos ocular illusion like diplopia squinting this is diplopia this is diplopia dual vision squinting this is squinting subjects have red hot red flushed face glaring eyes throbbing of carotids a great children remedy actually this symptom subjects after subjects the, all these symptoms the general symptom of belladonna patient you can individualize individualize a case with this symptom that this is the person this is the person of belladonna and he needs now belladonna he for some for eye problems ulcer on cornea iritis with pus in anterior chamber hypopian this is the picture of hypopian the anterior chamber accumulation of pus purulent conjunctiva with chemosis chemosis means swelling of eye so that the eye is difficult to open up so swollen profuse discharge great sensitivity to touch of touch air this characteristic of hypersalp hypersalp patient cannot cannot tolerate touch air wind pain in eyes as you pull back in heat boring pain in the upper orbit of upper part of orbit orbit means the bony structure the bony globular structure where eye is set subjects over sensitive do things hastily peevish angry actifs general symptoms staphylococcus for eye problems recurrent styes now look, look at the styes this is a sty this generally seen on the leads on the leads chalaji is the inflammation or swelling of the internal um, gland gland that gland lies below the upper surface of the eyelids that gland is inflamed it is challenging it is very difficult to cure it is easily cured sunken eyes with blue ring affections 
of angles of eyes. Angles eyes means these are the call. These are called this this thing, this one, this one. These are called angles of eyes. Angles of eyes, particularly the inner, bursting pain in eyeballs of sciatic iditis. This is iditis, inflammation of iris, lacerated wounds of cornea, subject very sensitive, least action, harmless word, offend them, apathetic, low spirited, practice masturbation. This is therefore individualized a case for stepsicria. Surinam for eye troubles, gummy, inverted eyelids, entropion. This is this look at this picture. The this uh, eyelids has been uh, cooked inside, and the the hairy things has also turned inside entropion. Sensation as if something were moving before eyes. Recurrent chronic ophthalmia without apparent reasons. Objects tremble, then go dark. Subject feel hungry, hungry or unusually well before attack. This is called USP, uncommon strange peculiar symptom. Subjects feel hungry or unusually well before attack. Chilly, depressed, body has feel the smell, all body discharge are foul. Try this when well selected remedy fails if patient is chilly. I have already told this thing. Carbon salt for eye problems, optic neuritis advancing towards atrophy. Optic neuritis, this is optic nerve placing on the uh, retina. Uh, this optic nerve neuritis that is there is inflammation now it is being atrophied that is going towards blindness this this is carbon cell myopia asthenopia myopia means short sightedness asthenopia is when eyes uh, tired cannot uh, open or work the eye is so tired after working lots of hours in front of skin this chromatopsia this chromatopsia means the feeling of normal, this I mean, altered feeling of colors. This is the normal picture. Now, the subjects in this picture. This is called dyschromatopsia. Cloudiness and atrophy of the optic nerve. Atrophy of the nerve already, uh, sorry, this is atrophy nerve. Central scotoma for red and screen light, actually, not for white light. That is, central scotoma means the uh, vision in the vision field. And centrally, there is blind areas. Black spot, blind areas. This is called central scotoma. This may be for all types of light, different types of light, which are colorful light. Retinal congestion, optic dispel, vision greatly diminished, color blindness, hallucination of sights and hearing. Mind this, carbon shawl is a very, very important remedy for eye problems to solve eye problem in homeopathy. This is a very, very good. I would ask everyone to read this repeatedly from standard books with this the video ends thanks for listening viewing if any problem is fair please write down in the comment section i will certainly respond